look at that. <laughs> See the corrosion uh, getting out of the coolant galleries of the engine block. Look at that corrosion build up. Grabe <laughs> siya. Ayos eh. Maganda tanggalin natin siya. This engine was not properly maintained using a uh, coolant and distilled water. A lot of corrosion build up is a result of that. Okay, balik tarin mo na lang to. Balik tarin. So we're gonna turn it over so that the dirt will go out that hole. Look at that. Uh, this engine doesn't have the oil buckle, but the bolts are still in this engine. So we just follow the uh, shop provided rules in removing the bolts for the oil buckle. I don't know if there was a previous mechanic that we built this engine before and forgot to install the oil buckle. Pero tagusan din siya. So we're now removing the lower cylinder block. So this engine is like a, a two-piece engine block. Serves as a main bearing support. And at the same time it serves as a main bearing cup. So that's the first stage. Next is the, uh, the second stage is the main bearing cup. You will see here that uh, each end of the bearing cup has two main bolts. It's just the sealant that uh, holds it. Yeah. See. What? Trust. Huh? These are the thrust bearings the upper the upper part has a guide the lower part I'm sure doesn't have the guide so let's remove this uh, rear crank oil seal so I see a forged crankshaft here this is 100% forged so remove the crankshaft uh, what you see here is the bare uh, upper cylinder block you will see here that the oil jet is very unique it's a uh, one banjo bolt oil feed uh, towards the two oil jets it's different from the Mazda 929 JEZ where the oil jet is built within the cylinder block so we'll just remove the main bearings here and the oil jets and the next stage is the cleaning of the upper engine block these are two oil jets in one there is no copper washer No copper seal washer. Only at the bottom part. Huh? Last upper, no? Yeah. Mm. 
Officer's uh, upper seal at the bottom part. 